is that? Ugh, bad news. The storm last night took out part of the railing on the steepest side of Cliff Ridge Trail. The steepest side of Cliff Ridge Trail? <sighs> yeah, it's way up there. You know it. And um, honestly, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some help. Are you um, free in an hour to give me a hand? Uh, I, I, I don't think so, Ranger Johnny. I have a lot to do and I, I, I don't, I don't what? do heights. I don't. Oh, our adventurers are back. Welcome to the Booster Ranger Station. Ranger Johnny here. And Ranger Sarah here. Okay, adventurers, who out there is ready for another day to gear up for your booster program? Oh, they're ready. Adventurers, if you already registered and shared to help your school, let it go. And if you haven't yet, that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. You still have time to help. That's right. Now, Ranger Sarah, can you tell us what the plan is for today? Totally. We're about to play Who Can Help Your School Pictionary. And I love this game. I don't know about you, Ranger Johnny, but it's one of my personal favorites. I love this game too, Ranger Sarah. Okay, timer on the clock. Ready, set, go. Friend. Neighbor. Teacher. Grandparent. Parents co-worker. Your pests, I need your pet. Local business. Oh, nice job. Now adventurers, with your family, brainstorm people who would want to help your school. Then go directly to mybooster.com and add their email or share by text. Easy peasy. Now it's time to see what happens next in our Grand Land Adventure story. I'm so jealous. Grandpa got to work in Yosemite. I've always dreamed of seeing the sunset from the Inspiration Point. Well, you should see a sunset from Horsetail Falls. When the sun is just right, it looks like a waterfall of fire. Grandma, do you think Grandpa buried the treasure in Yosemite? No, he did love that place. Hey, quiet down. Let me start it. Right now, we're standing at the foot of a 3,000 foot high granite monolith known as El Capitan. When it comes to climbing, El Cap has become a rite of passage for climbers from all over the world. The first ascent in 1958 took 47 days. From the meadow below, you can still see modern day climbers scaling the massive wall. Welcome to Yosemite National Park. Yosemite is best known for its waterfalls, granite cliffs, deep valleys, grand meadows, giant sequoias, and much more. But lesser known is the fact that Yosemite was central to the development of the national park idea. John Muir, the famous naturalist and explorer, led a successful movement to have Congress establish a larger national park by 1890 paving the way for the national park system. Of the four million visitors each year, most spend their time in Yosemite Valley. At only eight miles long and one mile wide, this incredible valley packs some breathtaking scenery, from the huge spray of Vernal Falls to the dazzling heights of Glacier Point. Virtually every feature of Yosemite is a showstopper. One of the things that makes Yosemite so unique and so amazing is the large number of waterfalls and granite formations. The most iconic is Half Dome, 8,800 feet of towering granite. The to hike to the top is a 14-mile round trip that gains nearly 5,000 feet in elevation and takes about 10 to 12 hours. Whether you're taking in the breathtaking views atop Glacier Point or scaling the formidable cables of Half Dome, this part requires a deep well of courage and fortitude. So what character trait does this part teach us? What character trait do you think Yosemite has to teach us? Always use a rope while climbing an El Cap? Unless your name is Alex Honnold. Grandpa said the park draws something out of you. Requires courage, not for the faint of heart. I think I got it. It's bravery. 
That has to be it. Bravery is about facing up to your fear. It's having the mental or moral strength to face danger, fear, or difficulty. Exactly. Whether you're afraid of heights, horses, or history tests, bravery is about moving forward in spite of your fear. I mean, for some, it could just be tackling something new, like a subject or making a new friend. So Yosemite taught Grandpa how to live with bravery? Epic. Nice. I wonder what part we're gonna visit next. Wow, Yosemite, it taught their grandpa to live with bravery. So inspiring. Moving forward in spite of your fears. That's exactly it. All right, it's time for another Grand Land Adventure cheer. Are you ready? Oh, born ready. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Grand Land Adventure. Woo. Okay, Ranger Johnny. Yes? I think I'm going to help you with the safety rail. Really? Yeah. <sighs> Moving forward in spite of your fears. I'm proud of you. I can do it. Let's do it. Well, farewell, adventurers. <laughs> Good morning, Kootenai Pirates, and happy Thursday. Today is May 18th. For lunch today is chili with a cinnamon roll. Choice on Thursday is yogurt, string cheese, and crackers. Inside lunch today, our ground is pretty wet from last night's storm, so we'll be eating inside. Hopefully, we can get back out there tomorrow on Friday. Happy birthday today to 6th grader Benny Dabrowski, and happy birthday to 2nd grader Sophia Crosby. Shout out to our math Olympiads for representing our school at the district math contest last night. You guys are awesome. You represented our school well, and I'm so proud of you. And thanks for Miss Clad for all your help with that as well. All right, booster thon updates. We are at 45% of our school registered. We only need 30% more to meet our goal, you guys. We've totally got this. Our overall profit so far is $7,292. We need about a little less than $13,000 to reach our goal and get that new climbing tool. Sixth graders, I'm calling you out. We need your help. I know you won't be here next year, but can you leave us a lasting legacy for the Kootenai Pirates? Please join in the fun as much as you can. The winner of the new pledges challenge from last night is Miss Shoning's fifth grade class. Whoop whoop, you guys earned a donut party. Miss Shoning will let me know when you guys want to do that and we'll get some donuts in the classroom. All right, tonight is the 50 state challenge. We're trying to get a pledge from every state. Can we do it? Let's see how it goes. That's your challenge for tonight. Okay, shout out to Mrs. Karst for doing all the things in the past for me from Ireland. Um, and coming up, we have our annual variety show. Tryouts if you want to be in the show. Any kind of act is welcome. Comedy act, hula hooping, cheerleading, singing, gymnastics, whatever you got, magicians, bring it. If you want to participate, next Tuesday after school in the gym is when you will be trying out for Miss Mian and you will need to get someone to pick you up from school. If you're in the after school program, you don't have to worry about that. But if you usually ride the bus or get picked up by your parent, you'll need to have them pick you up a little bit later so you can do tryouts. If you can't stay after school, you can upload a video of your act on Google Drive and share it with Miss Mian no later than four o'clock on May 23rd. We will then have a um, practice after school and I don't know for sure when that is I'll have to look and tell you guys but let's just pay attention first to tryouts are on Tuesday May 23rd the variety show is the last week of school all right everybody let's have a great Wednesday you may now stand for the Pledge of Allegiance oh today's Thursday have a great Thursday tomorrow is Pirate Pride or Lost in the 50s dress up day okay now you can stand for the Pledge of Allegiance <laughs>